View from the top. Business leaders review the news on video for FT.com. This week, George Roberts and Henry Kravis of KKR in this segment discussing how we got here. I'd like to start by asking you, at the moment we're in a recession and in very uncertain territory. Is it very different from any other recession you've seen? And if so, what is different about it? Uh, this time, uh, number one, it's global, okay? That time it was really focused on the U.S. This is the first global uh, uh, recession uh, that we've seen. Uh, number two, uh, the, um, uh, the fact in 1979 there was literally no money. Uh, Paul Volcker, who was head of the Fed at the time, uh, came out and uh, put credit controls on, which meant no non-purpose lending, which meant acquisition uh, lending was just cut off. And I remember at the time we had uh, announced that we were going to buy Foremost McKesson, take it private. We had a signed uh, agreement with them and uh, there was no money for it. And Henry mentioned that we were in the process of trying to do a buy on Foremost McKesson. The firm was only three years old and, and we were out to raise about $900 million back in 1979 to do it. Uh, the cause of this inflation is, I mean, this the period we're in today is totally different. Uh, this is a result of, uh, uh, of easy money, a growing economy, people's views being that asset values will only go up. What were the danger signs that you saw that led you to pick these very counter-cyclical, safe industries, whether it's healthcare, HCA, or utilities, the old TXU? Well, I think it comes back to exactly what George said, uh, and that is enormous credit uh, that, was, uh, that was in the market. You know, most uh, financial crisis come about historically because of too much credit, and, uh, and we were in a period like that. So we said, if, in fact, we're right, um, that uh, the credit is too much, and we, uh, but yet we want to take advantage of the opportunity to buy world-class companies, what kind of companies would we buy? If you believe that there's going to be a downturn, uh, then you buy companies like a, an HCA, you buy a Biomed, you buy a company like Dollar General, uh, you buy a, a company like uh, Energy Future Holdings, the old TXU. Uh, and we were a period of time from 05 to 07 where you could step up and buy some very large uh, defensive businesses, and that's what we did. So we have three companies in the healthcare field, we bought four companies in the retail field, bought a utility, we bought a uh, first data. You go through the list, these are market leading companies. And by their very nature of being market leading s businesses, uh, they've got defensive characteristics. Now we never, you know, in our wildest dream thought we were gonna have 6% uh, decline in GNP. Citibank stock would go to a dollar, GE would trade at six. And the governments around the world were going to have to come in and, and put the, their credit, sovereign credits behind the lines to, to keep a financial pack, panic. You know, if you think about <coughs> this, um, every single CEO uh, of a home builder in America came to see us. That was a screaming sign, you know. Why all of a sudden every one of these guys have come in over this 2006 period and saying, Oh, even if there's a downturn, my company's different. My company will will get through this just fine. And uh, you know, it was a real sign. Uh, you know, and these were not just CEOs hired hands. These were the people who started the company, built the company, and were the major owners of the company. And they wanted to sell. And so you know, you start getting signs like that. And uh, on top of just the uh, macroeconomic analysis that we would do and and, and we would read. You talked about how easy the money was. Now we're in this period of incredible contraction. Do you see any signs that the contraction is beginning to ease? Well, you know, we're back to the future. Uh, when, when we're, used to not, we're used to tight conditions. We started out, we didn't have any money at all. So uh, you can still well, do... Yeah, we did. We had $120,000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was to pay our overhead. That wasn't, that, that wasn't to invest. Uh, you know, so we've seen this happen, you know, we've been doing this for 40 years, 33 years as KKR, 
Uh, and there's going to be periods where uh, you go through, you know, expansion, you go through contraction. We were in the 80s. We were able to to to, uh, to raise a lot of money uh, to buy companies. I'm forgetting RJR for a minute, Beatrice, Safeway, Store Communications, just to name a few. Uh, those are five, six, seven, eight billion dollar transactions back in the mid 80s. Uh, we even bid for Gulf Oil, uh, and, and we didn't win, but we did. So we were able to raise substantial capital back then, and then the market ebbed off again in the in the 90s and flowed again before. So. Uh, we'll have some reversion back to the mean. It's uh, money's no longer a commodity. Uh, banks and finance sources are going to lend to people they know and they trust again. And to me, that's a competitive advantage we'll have. You know, uh, Henny, we uh, started out, <coughs> and in the uh, I think it's just the way we've been trained uh, by experience of having gone through so many different economic periods and seen so many things and made a lot of mistakes along the way that hopefully we have learned from. So if you go back to 1979 when we bought Hudai Industries, Hudai, Hudai Industries $355 million acquisition. There wasn't $355 million out there, but we uh, sat down, George and I, and we said, okay, rather than just putting together the optimum capital structure, uh, we said, how much bank debt is there? How much senior debt is there, and where will it come from? How much senior subordinated, subordinated, junior subordinated, preferred stock, and common stock is out there that we, we had every, raise? We had everything. I mean, it was a capital. It was a capital structure that had a little of everything in it. I mean, it was. It was. Well, it became a textbook story at, uh, and they made a case out of it up at Harvard. But anyway, um, my point on that is, uh, there was no money, and yet we figured out a way to back into it. That was George Roberts and Henry Kravis of KKR on how we got here. You can also hear them discussing the government's role going forward. Next week, Bob Kelly of the Bank of New York Mellon reviews the news on video for FT.com's View from the Top.